Yeah, let's move it out of the area of our data so we can actually see what we're referring to when we start building our chart. Okay, so here in the chart area, I'm going to right click and then in the shortcut menu, I'm going to click on select data and the select data source dialog box will appear. Okay, here you can see where it says legend entries. I'm going to click the add button and what I'm doing is I'm adding a series. The first series that I'm going to add is start date. So if, where it says series name here, I'm just going to click on the start date column, the column header. It's referring to that cell. And then where it says series values, I'm going to remove the default and I will select all of my values under the start date header and click OK. All right. Now, let me move this over so we can see what we're doing. Again, I'm going to add another series, and that's going to be days completed and the series name. Remove the series values, the default, and for series values, I'm going to select the range of cells under the days completed column. Okay. Now again, I'm going to add one more column. Click add for series name, days remaining, series values, days remaining. I select all of those cells, click OK. And then finally, here in the horizontal axis category, I click Edit. And I'm going to select my task, task 1 through 8. And click OK. Now I'm going to close out the Select Data Source dialog box. And there, <clears throat> you can see that we have our chart. But there's changes that we need to make. Um, there's some obvious problems with this chart. Um, one, you can see that our tasks are in reverse order. You can see these blue uh, bars here, which represent this. Well, actually, I'll get to, the, get to that in a second. You can see here that the date, March 27th, is way before our start date of uh, the start date of our project, which is May 16th. That's too big of a gap. I don't know why um, Excel is the, the basically the date boundaries um, are the time frame is too long um, according to our start date. So we basically we just want to remove this this uh, time frame that we don't want it to show in our chart. We want it to be more current. So uh, <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of the um, bars that represent the start date and that's because before before the start date there's nothing going on we don't need to see any bars representing that um, so I'm gonna click on I'm gonna click on the blue bars just click on the blue bar and we'll select all the blue bars and then I right click and I'm gonna select format data series and then I'm going to the format data series dialog box appears. I'm going to select fill, and then I'm going to check the fill, the no fill circle there, and close. So there, I haven't gotten rid of those bars, but I've hidden them because I've basically I've just hidden them. All right. So our next problem that we're going to solve is the fact that the tasks are in reverse order. So then I click on the task right click and then from the shortcut menu I'm going to select format axis um, then I'm going to make sure that the axis options tab is selected in this dialog box in the format axis dialog box and I'm going to check the box right here which is categories in reverse order okay now we have our task in order from task 1 to task 8 and finally we gotta solve the problem with the dates <clears throat> the way I'm going to do that is I just select our dates. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, let me kind of explain how dates work in Excel. Okay. I'm going to take the, this date right here. And I'm just going to convert it to a number. Okay. So 
what Excel does is it recognizes dates with a serial number system. Um, so each date is represented by a serial number. So the uh, so May sixteenth, two thousand thirteen, is represented by the um, number forty one thousand four hundred and ten, uh, <clears throat> and so the number one in Excel represents June or January first, nineteen hundred. So that really what that means is there's been 41,410 days since January 1st, 1900. But uh, you'll see why I'm showing this to you. And that's because we have to go in here and make some changes to the dates. Let me undo what I did there. And I'm going to bring my chart back over. Okay, so let's go change the dates now that we know the number. Actually, let's copy this cell bring it over here convert it to a number so that we know we have we can refer to the cell so we don't forget what our number is okay so now let's fix this problem with the dates click on the dates in the chart and then right click and then select format axis and you're gonna see here axis options and they're all um, automatically the um, basically the bounds or the range for the dates are automated with the numbers and that, that that number right there actually represents a date we're just gonna make it a fixed date and we're gonna change it to 41,410 you can do it a few days earlier if you want if you want to have a little bit of a cushion we will do let's see 41,405 it's all your personal preference close that and you can see that also um, removes all that excess time that shows on the chart <clears throat> so there you can see we have our Gantt chart um, it's showing our total number of days completed right here and then right here in the green represents the days remaining for each project because we haven't gotten to these tasks they are completely remaining but you can see here this task is about halfway through um, and this, these are going to slowly fill in automatically, even while you sleep, with red fill as time goes by. You don't have to do anything to it. It will always be automated. So as long as everything is going according to schedule, this Gantt chart should be accurate. Okay, um, finally you can get up here and you can make some changes. You can change the color if you want. And then you'd have to also, if you do that, you're going to have to go here and remove that uh, enter no fill again but you can get in here and you can make those changes you can also um, choose different types get up here and add your title if you want and just experiment with uh, the different chart formats. Anyway, I hope this tutorial helped. Um, we also have Gantt chart tutorials for Excel 2013. I have a more basic um, Gantt chart tutorial that doesn't really have the automated progress being updated. Um, be sure to check out a bunch of our other videos. I have a complete Excel for noobs tutorial series. It is for noobs or beginners. However, it does get into some pretty complex stuff that you may have never even known um, if you haven't taken a detailed course. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it's, the most important thing is that you guys just interact with my videos. Um, make sure that you comment, you rate, you share, you subscribe. That's really what helps with the Google, um, Google algorithm, both on YouTube and the search engine. Um, the more interaction, the more engaged you are, the, the viewers are, the higher that these vi these free videos are going to be ranked. Um, so that can be your form of payment. It's very simple. Just click the thumbs up button and make a simple comment and share it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.